In today's video, we are in Bangkok's Chinatown, where we find a side street called Tai Wang Road. We interact with locals, have some amazing street food, and see beautiful graffiti art along the alley. This area is right next to the Ta Tan water taxi stop and is somewhere you must put on your list of places to eat when in Bangkok. We are still in Bangkok, Thailand. Today is what, day four? Technically, yeah. Day four and we are going to go and get some street food and check out this alley here guys check out the wall art yeah pretty sick graffiti guys Now we're gonna get some food here. We're in Chinatown and they have all these little stalls here with uh, street food. So we're gonna give it a shot. Let's see what we find, guys. Let's check this out. Add Thai. I wanna see if I can get that beef with rice and egg meal. Look at the fresh fruit here, guys. This looks deep. Oh, the passion fruit. I'm gonna get a passion fruit juice from her, okay? I definitely, definitely want a juice, guys. This looks delicious. All right, let's see how we can order. For this meal that I wanted for street food this whole entire time, finally saw a lady serving it, so I'm gonna get what I've been looking for. Just waiting on our handy daddy translator to load up, guys. This thing has come in handy a couple of times. And I'm gonna turn the volume way up on this because we are in a loud environment here. Uh, oh, mm, yeah. <laughs> Do you make juice or only smoothies? Smoothie? Okay. Okay, one smoothie, please. <laughs> one smoothie, okay. Got the cap. And can we please also have one macchiato? Um, and can we please have one? Oh, <laughs> I don't know what it translated to. Uh, one macchiato, coffee okay. macchiato. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> cup to cup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, Sean. I'll see you. But thank you. Okay. <laughs> you guys. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll stay here. You guys, there you saw. Got to use the translator in real time and it actually works so i'm pretty impressed let's see how this passion fruit smoothie is going to be plus this meal right here that these guys have that's the exact meal that i want so this is going to be really fun today guys stay with us subscribe and uh, comment like this video i am going to order my food but i don't know what it's called so let me ask our neighbors here excuse me what is the name of that the name? Kap 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 Musap. Thank you. Kap 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 Musap. Kap Musap. All right, guys. I need to order a Kap Musap. Let's see. Kap Musap. Kap Musap. And this is where we're ordering from, guys, as you can see here. Can I order, please? Is that cap kamusap? Kamusap. Uh huh. Okay. One, please. Um, medium spice. Ah, uh, spicy. No, no spicy. Well, no, medium, medium, half, medium. half spicy. Yes. Kamusap, medium spicy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. One. One, and then a. Uh, uh, one more uh, fried fried pork with noodles. Fried rice. 
ไฟไลท์นูดเดิลฟรายฟรายไฟไลท์พอกนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่นนู่From anybody, not even the translator. Let's hope that we got it right. We'll let you know as soon as they bring it out. But I think we did, guys. All right, travelers. We are here in this little cute market alleyway thing. I'm not sure what to call it, but there's a whole bunch of food stalls. I'm sure Tony just showed you what he ordered, but I um, went ahead and it's too early in the morning for me right now, even though it's like 12:30. But Needed a little bit of pick me up, so I ordered myself a macchiato from the same place that we got our shake. And I'm gonna give this a nice little stir. You can see everything here. A little espresso here in a back alley in Bangkok. Mm, really strong coffee flavor. Hopefully, a great way to start today. So, stay with us. Do you have change for 1,000? Got the cap. All right, guys. So we're gonna get change. Remember, carry small bills. One in Bangkok. Oh. <laughs> Got the cap. Got the cap. Vanessa's food has arrived, and she is gonna let us know how it tastes. First time trying authentic street food here in Thailand. <laughs> And here comes my meal. Right here. Got cap. All right, travelers. I have here for you um, a noodle with sautéed pork uh, dish. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but it looks really good and smells super yummy. I think this is morning glory contained within, which we have learned to love more and more as we're here in Thailand. But you could tell that these noodles are super fresh. They're nice and soft. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of this meat. And some of the vegetables there. Mmm. Hot but so good. Wow. Lots of flavor there. So tasty. Now, guys, it's time for me to try mine, and let's hope it goes as well as Vanessa's did. This is my first time ever trying this meal. I've been craving it. I've watched a lot of people on YouTube eat it. It's like a national meal here in Thailand. And what you do is you mix up your rice and meat. I believe it's ground pork and maybe, or not ground, but minced pork or minced meat. Um, comment below if you know and let me know, guys. My mouth is watering. Here we go. Just a really good. Flavor, meat flavor. It has a nice little kick of spice. Not a lot, but enough to satisfy that craving for spice. The egg complements the meat and the rice very well. You guys, let's take another bite. Mmm. I got more egg in that bite. It's even better. My love, I want you to try this. All right, guys. Vanessa's gonna try this. All right, got to get a little bit of the egg mixture in there, of course. And that's the one thing, guys, that I love are the eggs. We've traveled to different places, and these eggs that you find, especially here in Thailand, they're so fresh. 
and really yellow and just super delicious. Mmm. Right? Yeah. There is just a lot of different spices going on here. A little bit of heat. But so tasty and so fresh. Mmm. I love it. <laughs> I am glad that Vanessa liked it and that she vouches for what I was saying because it really is a good dish. Mm. Vanessa's meal and my meal combined, guys, 120 baht, which is a little over three US dollars. It's uh, crazy. The quality you get here, freshness and uh, flavors. This is stuff that would cost you $20 a plate easy at a Thai restaurant in the United States and that's on the low side So we're gonna enjoy our food and uh, then we're gonna head down to the river lunch is done and Boy, oh boy Was that a treat you guys and this stand is where we got the food from So if you're making your way to the river boats you come down the alley and this stand right here is great food got the cap Let's go have fun, guys. We'll bring you along with us as we walk down this alley. Oh, look at it. It's an ice cream sandwich. Yeah. A literal ice cream sandwich. Yeah. Wow. Travelers, I was just telling Tony that was one of the best noodle dishes I've had in my life. In her life. So good. And to feed both of us, it was about three dollars plus or minus but three bucks come on yeah so awesome just explore don't just go to the restaurants walk around and eat with the locals if you see a whole bunch of people there it probably means that it's gonna be good so that's what we did and delicious Ooh.